Combating the opioid crisis frequently involves police officers, including their four-legged partners who have much more sensitive noses. In Massachusetts, an effort is underway to protect trained canines from potential exposure to lethal drugs, such as fentanyl. From PBS station WGBH in Boston, Tina Martin reports. <laughs> Quincy Police Canine Officer Scott Doherty and his partner Mace go through a practice explosive search. Mace will be five in October and I've had him for four years. They work the Boston Marathon and the 4th of July celebration on the Esplanade every year. We do everything from um, large, large venues and events uh, for explosive detection sweeps. Um, as part of that, he also detects guns. Mace, like the department's other canine officers, uses his nose to find suspects, missing people, and guns. But he may also encounter opioids, like heroin or carfentanil, which can be lethal. With drugs, typically comes guns. Uh, so Mace may very well be involved in a search warrant or any kind of search for a gun. Um, as a result of a fellow drug investigation or a drug search. To protect his partner, Officer Doherty carries Narcan. So I keep both doses here. We follow the trends in the country. There have been a lot of canines exposed to uh, fentanyl and carfentanil, so we just want to stay up on uh, the protection of the dogs. Yes. Lieutenant Bob Gillen runs the canine unit of 12 officers and their dogs. A year ago, he brought in the staff at New England Animal Medical Center to do Narcan trainings. Three, two, one. Injection complete. Diane Whitaker is one of the veterinary technicians. There's the auto injector, um, which I just demonstrated on Mace. We do probably three classes, three classes, sometimes four classes a year for specific departments. Jessica McKay Descent, a veterinarian, says just like humans, it's important to know the signs. When an animal's been exposed to an opioid, some signs that you're going to notice would be not responding to commands, staring into space. And even if a handler is not sure, it's better to act. Narcan is relatively harmless. It's not, it doesn't have very many adverse effects. So if they get an unnecessary Narcan injection, they're not going to respond to it in a bad way. In Quincy, first responders have used Narcan more than 700 times on humans, but they haven't had to use it on canines. All right, you want this off, buddy? Officer Scott Doherty says he's ready to protect his partner. If Mace were to come in contact with an opiate, uh, fentanyl, heroin, car fentanyl, he would need my help, and I would need to recognize the signs in him. For the PBS NewsHour, I'm Tina Martin in Quincy, Massachusetts. Those canine partners matter.